In this video, we will be studying about the systematic quota and convenience sampling. See, systematic sampling, so according to the, this method, the units of population are numerically, geographically, and alphabetically arranged. Every nth item of the numbered item is selected as a sample item. Let's suppose the universe is of 100 students. So what you do, you select every 10 student. So this is the nth item you are selecting from the sample. Now let's suppose there is a, a 100 students, you are selecting every 5th item. So like 5th, 10th, 15th, 25th, 30th, 35th. So this is the systematic sampling in which you select on the basis of numerically, geographically or alphabetically arranged data. So every nth item of the number item is selected as the sample. It's marriage and demerits are. See, it is very simple method. Sample is easily determined. The second, there is hardly any possibility of personal bias. So, no personal bias. Demerits are every item in the population does not get equal chance of being selected. Right? So, Items do not get equal chance of being selected. The second comes if all the items in the population are homogeneous, this method of sampling serves no specific purpose. Not good in homogeneous data. If the data is homogeneous, then this is not good method of sampling. Next comes the quota sampling. So in this method, the population is divided into different groups or classes according to different techniques characteristics different techniques or characteristics of the population. So you make the quotas, you sign the quotas, then 10% we will select this, 20% we will select this, 30% we will select this item. So some percentage of the different groups in total population is fixed. Some quota of the items to be selected on sample items is fixed for each group. So this is your quota sampling. So the merits are less expensive, less time consuming, and its demerits are personal biasness. There can be personal bias. High possibility of personal bias at the time of selection of the items by the investigation and the service less reliable.
as there is personal likeness attached to it, so the result drawn may be less reliable. Convenient sampling. See, in this method, sampling is done by the investigator in such a manner that suits his convenience. So according to the convenience of the investigator we do the sampling. Now it's merits and demerits. See, the merits are the simple, less expensive, less time consuming, whereas its demerits are, this is unscientific, may not draw the reliable results so it is unreliable because it's according to the wish of the investigator his convenience so it depends on the whims that is the wish of enumerators enumerators are the persons which are appointed by the investigator to do the investigation so it depends on the means of an enumerator so the data becomes unreliable so i hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us